is a K-Gun 9 on your side news update. Hi everyone, Kyler Diggs here in the K-Gun 9 First Morning Forecast Center. Happy Valentine's Day to you. We've got the rain moving in and it will be with us from Thursday night into Friday morning and then Friday afternoon it'll clear out. But this weekend it'll remain a little bit unsettled. In fact, if you're, you have plans to go into the Phoenix metro area for the weekend, you might see a little bit of rain there and then some of that rain moves back into Tucson late Sunday night and then Monday we've got a cold storm that comes in here that will drop the snow levels down probably to around 3000 feet early Tuesday morning. If that moisture sticks around long enough, we might actually see a few flakes of snow in Tucson and then yet another storm system arrives next Thursday. It's really amazing the storm track that we're on right now. Let's talk about the precipitation that we can expect with this rain that we've got moving in for Thursday night into Friday. We already have a lot of flood watches in effect and I think you can see why here with some of the rainfall totals that we expect in the mountains. We could see two to four inches of rain. That water needs to go somewhere. It's going to go downhill and fill up those washes and creeks. So be very careful late tonight and early tomorrow in Tucson. Models are estimating we'll probably see around three quarters of an inch of rainfall and then not so much as you head into Cochise County. But here's where the flood watches are all the way from the Mogollon Rim north of Phoenix over to the White Mountains and extending into the Tucson metro area. These will go from Thursday evening into Friday morning. OK, let's talk some numbers for you as far as temperatures. As the high goes on Friday, it's going to be pretty nice. Actually, even with the rain, we'll still see some mid 60s cools off on Saturday for the start of the rodeo back into the upper 50s and we'll stay there on Sunday. And then look at that temperature on Monday for President's Day, a high of only 49 degrees. We drop the overnight lows to near freezing as we go into Tuesday morning and then it's a slow recovery back into the 50s for next week. But then we've got that storm system coming in towards the end of next week. So we're really not going to get a break from this stormy weather pattern that looks like for several days. So you're going to want to stay up to date. And to do that, you can always tune in to KGUN 9 on your side. Head on over to our website at KGUN9.com. And we're always connected with you on social media as well. And you can catch us there at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Stay safe out there and stay warm, and it's always a pleasure to have you with us.